When most people think of Hawaii, they think of a tropical paradise. With warm weather, beautiful beaches, and a stunning natural landscape, the islands are a dream destination for countless aspiring travelers across the globe. Recently though, Hawaii has been in the news for a different reason. Volcanoes. For the past few weeks, Mount Kilauea, which sits on the big island, has been unusually active. In early May, several fissures started to open in the Earth's crust near the volcano, releasing deadly lava flows and toxic gas. This lava moves slowly, but its advance is unstoppable, and it consumes everything in its path. Several dozen homes have already been destroyed, and hundreds of people have evacuated. On May 12th, the US government issued a major disaster declaration, allowing for the use of federal funds as part of the response. Meanwhile, as the volcano's increased levels of activity continued to rage on, scientists began to predict that a more violent eruption could come at any time. And they were right. On Thursday, May 17th, these warnings culminated when Kilauea finally erupted, spewing ash and smoke up to 30,000 feet in the air. For locals, the blast was a highly visible and terrifying sight. Luckily, because of favorable weather conditions, the ash did not spread far from the volcano's summit. Still, due to elevated amounts of the harmful gas sulfur dioxide in the air, schools closed across the island and Hawaiians entered a state of high alert. Such a visible eruption may be rare for Kilauea these days, but volcanic events are nothing new to Hawaii. In fact, the Hawaiian archipelago only exists today because of volcanoes. Starting 70 million years ago, an area of unusually hot rock deep below the Pacific Ocean began to form. This area, now known by scientists as a mantle plume, caused the buildup of molten magma far underground. As this magma began to accumulate, pressure increased in the area below the Earth's lithosphere. Eventually, this buildup became too much, and all the pent-up magma exploded through the crust and onto the surface, in this case the ocean floor. With that, the first Hawaiian volcano was born. As eruptions continued over the years, magma began to build up and cool above ground, creating the first of the islands as we know them today. And all the while, the outer portion of the Earth's crust, referred to in this case as the Pacific Plate, was slowly and steadily moving. As the tectonic plates shifted over the fixed geologic hotspot below it, each subsequent Hawaiian island began to form. The landmass we know now is actually just a series of massive volcanic mountains rising out of the ocean. The Big Island is the youngest of these, and therefore closest to the hotspot, making it the most volcanically active. In this way, the chain of islands serves as an elaborate physical history of movement in the Earth's crust over thousands of years. Most of this happened way before humans began to call Hawaii home. When Polynesians first arrived on the islands by canoe, at around 300 to 500 ACE though, they were astounded by the sheer destructive power of the volcanoes. As a result, volcanic motifs feature prominently in Hawaiian religion. One of the most revered deities according to these beliefs was the fire goddess Tutupele, whose home was said to be, of course, Mount Kilauea. Several contending legends attempt to explain Pele's origins, but across them all, her depiction is much the same. A passionate, vengeful goddess at whose whims the earth opens up, raining down fire upon the world. The eruption of volcanoes in Hawaii has long been considered the work of Pele, and locals have long gone to great lengths to appease her, in hopes that she might show mercy and limit her volcano's destructive power. These beliefs continued for centuries. In 1801, the Hawaiian king Kamehameha, in an attempt to bring an end to a series of violent eruptions, famously offered everything from fish to fruit to a live pig in an attempt to calm Pele. The eruptions only subsided though when he offered her a lock of his own hair. Some say that the traditional Hawaiian dance, hula, started as a way to honor Pele, who according to legend invented the dance as celebration after winning a dispute with her sister, the goddess of the oceans. Today, the notion that Pele controls the behavior of Hawaii's volcanoes is still widely held. People continue to leave offerings in front of their homes in the hope that they will somehow curry the goddess's favor. Volcanoes have a profound impact in shaping what it means to live in Hawaii. Recently, Mount Kilauea has been synonymous with volcanic activity on the islands. The youngest of all the Hawaiian volcanoes, it has been continuously active since 1983 and the U.S. Geological Survey has deemed it the longest continually erupting volcano in the entire world. Its eruptions often continue for weeks and even sometimes for as long as months. In the mid-80s, a four-mile-long fissure formed, and a new opening began spewing lava from Kilauea. 
In 1990, flows from an event known as Kupayanaha destroyed 100 homes and businesses in the town of Kalapana, submerging them below nearly 80 feet of molten lava. Until recently, such violent eruptions had mostly subsided. Since the 1980s, however, more flows have been slowly oozing from Kilauea, gradually adding hundreds of acres of land to the Big Island. In this manner, the age-old process of volcanoes dictating Hawaii's physical space continues even until today. For hundreds of years, the story of Hawaii has been the story of volcanoes, eruptions, earth changing and people learning to explain and live with the unstoppable force of nature under their feet. In many ways, the eruptions seen today are probably just as awe-inspiring as those that were witnessed hundreds of years ago, when the very first people arrived on the Hawaiian Islands. So, as Kilauea begins to stir once more, reshaping the landscape, displacing people, and destroying property, this generation of Hawaiians too must, like their predecessors, master the delicate art of coexistence with Mother Nature. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed learning a bit about the history of volcanoes in Hawaii, make sure to subscribe and to join the conversation by following RetroStep on Twitter and Facebook. Videos on everything from history to current events to pop culture are in the works, so stick around.